If our star schema was to include a dimension for customers and our customers were to move from one location to another, we may well find that they've moved within our sales territories. If we don't keep a history of where they were located originally and where they've moved to, we would have no way of knowing where to report territory sales. The tracking of this movement, or the tracking of change within dimensions, is known as a slowly changing dimension. Data Academy Starit contains a simple and convenient way of monitoring these changes and keeping the history. We're going to create one now for exactly that situation. So, the first thing we need to do is to select our customer table and create a dimension based on that customer table. And go in and modify. Changing first of all the dimension name to keep within our naming conventions. Since we want this to be a slowly changing dimension, in other words the changes to be monitored, all we have to do is select this checkbox to identify that the dimension is in fact a slowly changing dimension. Later we will define exactly which attributes within the dimension we would like monitored. So now we can start adding the fields for this dimension into its definition. We start with customer ID and then customer name. We're going to concatenate the customer's first name and last name into a single customer field. So we modify the first name field, change its output field name first, and then in the field function we enter the concatenation TSQL functions. Having completed the definition of the field, we can save it away. Now we want to monitor territory movements within this particular dimension, so we need to add the territory table into our definition. So we go to our Joins tab and select the Sales Territory table to be joined in to the definition for this dimension. Data Academy has identified that there are two fields that are identical on the two tables, Territory ID on Customer and Territory ID on Sales Territory. So it's selected those automatically, and indeed this is how we're going to join these tables together. Having completed that, we can now add the fields from the territory table into our dimension definition. So from territory, we add in territory ID and also the territory name. So that we can identify the field later down the line, we'll give the territory name a more recognisable field output name. And again, save away. We're being highlighted to the fact that the business key hasn't yet been defined, so let's do that right now. Into customer ID and identify that that's the business key. We want to monitor territory ID and territory name for change. At the moment, because we haven't specified anything to monitor for change, Data Academy will automatically monitor everything, including the customer's name. So we're going to specifically now say that we want the territory ID identified as a slowly changing dimension constraint by checking that checkbox. And the same with territory name. This is now defined as a slowly changing dimension.